Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today some myth busting with the rubber rolling press. <laughs> Let me show you what I'm going to do with it. A lot of people said because it was so clear that the whole contraption was lifting itself up before the hammer came down on it that this would actually lead to a lot of loss of energy. Well, yes and no, because of course this whole upwards motion also has momentum. In the middle, you know, both come together with different speed, but also different mass. So in theory, probably no energy is lost, but we want to find out if that is true. So we have bolted down the whole thing solidly into this concrete socket. Also, the whole contraption was uh, strengthened because it was really weak. So this uh, burned lock was uh, reinforced with this fresh block and also uh, some uh, additional wood was installed so that it's hopefully now solid. My trustworthy petting house anvil is now firmly fixed in the contraption so that it can't move too much. Calibration will be done by means of flattening the 19 mm lead ball. This is what the press did without being bolted down to the floor. A lot of people asked me, Jörg, why are you shaking so much in the last video? Well, to be honest, this machine really is uh, fragile. It's made from the cheapest leftover wood you can possibly imagine. And I was about this far with my face from the anvil because I had to crouch down to release it. So adrenaline was pumping through my veins causing this shivering. But now I've made this beautiful well thought out contraption that allows me to pull the trigger with being a little bit more far away from it. And fuck! Wow! <laughs> okay, this was a little bit off center, I think, because this part is a little bit thicker. But you can clearly see that now it is more flattened on average than uh, the one without being bolted down. So, in effect, it is clear. The bolting down helps a little bit, although it's not the whole deal. I mean, it's not like it would be now be twice as strong or so. We'll do one more try. Oops! The rope tore. Now we have replaced the flimsy paracord. I think it's four or five millimeter with a 10 millimeter rope. Contraption hooked in and fi <laughs> fire. <laughs> you can clearly see that the uh, effect was a little bit better than without the fixing. The bolting helped a little bit, but not too much. What can we do in addition? Well, we can always double up the rubber. So let's go to 400 kilograms. <laughs> That's it. We've doubled up the rubber. I'm really afraid. I have no idea what's going to happen, but it's not going to be pretty. <laughs> My job is fun. All right, let's see. You can already say that the winch is a little bit at its limit. <laughs> it's interesting to see what's going to give up first. Some creaking noise. Never a good sign. Two more clicks. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, now this is about as flat, I think, as the one that the hydraulic press channel created. See how thin it now is? Lead pancake for sure. <laughs> now we will test this stone. It's a proper piece of pebble. I think those are really hard and it's going to be interesting to see what the doubled up rubber is going to do with it. Wow! <laughs> Okay, 
as you see, the stone was crumbled to dust. <laughs> wow, very fine. I know, you want to see it, I want to see it too. The hardened steel ball that destroyed the press from the hydraulic press channel. My prediction is that the hardened padding house quality anvil is not gonna dent, but also I think that the soft uh, steel rod is gonna dent mightily. Let's find out. So as predicted, there is a deep groove stamped into this from the steel ball fitting exactly inside. What is also interesting is that it did stamp a little dent into the padding house anvil, which is one hard piece of steel. All right, we all want to know with double dub rubber, how high does it now jump up? Well, we'll find out. I just removed the bolts, so it's freestanding once more. And... <laughs> My poor phone. Well... I hope you like this because that's it for today. Mmm, thanks and bye bye.